Good day, my wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us how you can use cloves and garlic to fight the evil ones terrorizing your peace of mind, terrorizing your territory, terrorizing your finances, terrorizing your health, terrorizing everything that has to do with you. Okay, but in case you're tuning in for the first time, you're highly welcome to this wonderful family. Kindly hit the red subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family. Like my videos, share my videos. Please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified each time I upload new videos on YouTube. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate. May God Almighty continue to bless you in all you do. I probably want to thank those that have subscribed to my new channel. On that channel, I will be concentrating on health and spiritual tips, okay? So please, if you've not subscribed, please kindly do so to encourage me. So let me go straight to the video. Here with me is my garlic. For those that don't know what garlic is, this is my garlic, okay? And this is my cloves. These two ingredients, they are not strange on the channel, okay? So if you are experiencing moving objects in your body, hotness of the body, you've gone, you've taken so many uh, medications and you are still, the movement of the body is still there, the hotness of the body is still there. By the grace of God, I want to share with us a home remedy you can use. At times, what causes this uh, hotness of the body or movement of object might be, if you're a woman, it might be any sign of menopause. Yes. Another thing that can cause it is infection. When you have a terrible infection, it can cause movement of the body. Certainly when you have to do with staphylococcus and gonorrhea, it can cause hotness of the body and movement of the body. I'll make the elaborate video on my other channel, the other ingredients you can use to treat it if it's an infection. Okay? But now I'm talking, uh, tackling, uh, tackling it from the spiritual angle. Okay? So now for you to tackle it both spiritually and uh, medically, the medical uh, part of it will be on my other channel. I'll post it after this video. So what you're going to do for me, for you to stop those moving objects and the uh, hotness of the body, just get your clothes, get a good number of feet, okay? Get a container like this. Add the clothes inside the container. Get garlic, a good quantity of garlic, chop it into pieces, add it inside the water, inside the water container, then add water to it. Allow it to ferment for three days, that's 72 hours. Then on the fourth day, you start taking it one cup in the morning, one cup in the night. And just use this small tumbler, they call short. They usually use it taking a, a, what they call it, hot drink. Okay, or Hennessy, those people that take brandy, hot drinks, and all that. That's more sure they use in measuring it. That is what they're going to be using to take it morning and night. Morning and night, first in the night, in the morning, and last thing at night. Take it until those movements or hotness of the body stops. Then, if you experience that hotness of the body at a particular place, maybe your joint, that could be arthritis or rheumatism. So, what you would do, get a hot balm. I have a balm for that. If you, even if you don't buy from me, there is a balm sold in the market. Any balm you have that is very hot, apply it on those areas. By the grace of God, those things will stop. Then for those um, uh, facing spiritual attacks, always waking up with marks on their body, hearing strange noises in the dream, fighting in the dream, eating in the dream, making love in the dream, those things, somebody pressing you while you are sleeping. Okay, people harassing you, molesting you while you are sleeping, seeing dogs or cats biting you or snakes eating you in the dream. These are witchcraft attacks. These are ways witches and wizards operate. Okay, so what you are going to do for me? Get this garlic and cloves. Get something you can use to crush the garlic. You can use something like this. Anything you have, you may not get my exact one. Anything you can use to crush the garlic, you can see the one crushing it, okay? Anything you can use to crush it into pieces, okay? 
brush it then look for anything you can use to get this thing into powder form the clothes don't buy the already made one in the market that sometimes they usually mix it with something you know so get this use your blender or your mortar anything you can use to get it into powder form pound it just a little and a little garlic pound it you can make this one into powder form in a good quantity then in the morning when you want to bath Take a little of it, then get garlic. Maybe like this is okay. Crush it inside your baking water. Add this cloves into your baking water. Don't use soap, don't use sponge. Use it to bath in the morning and in the night. Okay? By the grace of God, those witches and wizards will not be able to assess you. You know, garlic usually have a bad uh, aroma. Okay? So you can use it to bath, then use your soap to uh, bath again in the morning, not in the night. In the night, sleep with it that way. Then take your, your garlic again, crush a little, add it to uh, any oil you usually rub in the night or your cream. The same thing applicable to the clothes. Get the one you pounded or the one you grinded, add it to your cream, the one you apply only at night. Whenever you want to sleep, apply it. For those that will tell me they don't rub cream at night, get an olive oil or a coconut oil. Get the cloves, the grinded cloves, add it inside the olive oil or the coconut oil. Get the crushed garlic, add it inside the coconut oil or the olive oil. Apply that one only at night. Or if you must apply it in the morning, make sure you're not going out. I wouldn't want a situation somebody would tell me that he went out or she went out. People are like saying you're smelling and all that. I wouldn't want that complaint. So use it only at night. Or in the house when you know you are not going out. For you to now bless this thing, you, if you're a Christian, pray on it with some Psalms. You can use some 35 and some 18. If you're not a Christian, just bless it. Charge it to intention. Tell God to protect you and to rebuke every forces working against you, working against your finances, working against your health. Because life is uh, health is life. Once you're not healthy, you cannot be wealthy. Put me anywhere. Once you're not healthy, you cannot be wealthy because most of your most of your finances will be going to treatment, going for treatment. And it's when you're healthy that you'll be able to work for money. You cannot be on a sick bed and be managing your business. It's not done anywhere. People will be, you know, people will squander your money. Okay, so when you're healthy, you're wealthy. So tune into the other channel so that you'll be able to treat it medically in case. Your own hotness of the body is as a result of infection. I'll be dropping the video immediately after this. Thank you once again for watching my video. and see you in my next video. Thank you, thank you, thank you.